So um, the last part of this if conditional statement is that we are going to look at how else if works. Now, this else if is another pathway towards uh, providing the uh, program and uh, it's providing the program with another pathway and you're making your program far more intelligent than the previous one. So what we are going to uh, what we are going to look at is how to provide several different paths. If one of them matches, then the program will react accordingly. Now in here, we previously provided two different paths. The first one was if this condition is true, then obviously this will be executed, or this block of code will get uh, will, will be executed. And if this if condition fails to be uh, true or if this if condition is rendered to be false like the condition in here is false then the else clause will be triggered and you will see a message that is included inside this block so now suppose we want to provide another pathway and previously we uh, saw we actually checked for the value of this um, variable we checked that whether the value was null or not. So suppose if we uh, also want to check that whether the value that is stored inside it's inside this variable is a string or not. So if we want to use that, we need to use something like uh, we need to use a function known as isString. So this isString function will check whether the value that is contained inside this variable is a string or not. If it's not a string, then it will uh, print out a message on the on a browser, or it will, if it's a string, then it will do something uh, accordingly. So the next thing that we're going to look at is how to write the else if statement. So let's press enter, and it's simply that we are going to write else if then the condition. Now the advantage in here is that um, you can actually provide another condition inside this else if conditioning uh, braces or uh, brackets. So we are providing three parts for our program. So the program will actually come when, when, the, when you start executing the script, it will first start from this if clause. It will check whether this um, variable contains a value that is null or not. Null is actually not a value, which means it doesn't. It, this variable doesn't contain any sort of value. And then it's going to check whether this else if condition is true or not. If this else if condition is true, then it's going to do something. If it's not true, or if all this other condition fails or if all these other conditions render to be false, then finally it's going to print out what is included inside this else clause. Now let us look at how this else if will work. So the function that I've shown you, let me write that, uh, not scalar, it's string, and we're going to pass in the variable like previous cases. So we're going to do something like echo and you have, we're going to uh, print out a message if we find that the uh, value that is provided inside this variable is a string. So let's write something you have passed in a string and let's change the value inside this variable. So simply this has turned into a string value. Now let us save this and after we save this, let's return to our browser and let's refresh the page. So you can see clearly that our browser is printing out the value that we have provided inside the second else uh, second clause or the else if clause. So in here, Likewise, as I've told you, it's checking whether this value is a string or not. Now, even if you include, now the most important thing uh, we need to note in here is that uh, even if you include this null, null word inside this, um, in, and closed inside the double quotation marks, then your null word will also be rendered to be something like a string 
or it will be rendered to be a string. But if you literally write that, if you literally write that, it will have a different meaning. It, the meaning is that it, it that variable does not contain any sort of value. But if you write that null inside is uh, inside uh, double quotation marks, it's something like it's considered something like an English word or a literal word uh, by your compiler. So if even if we write like even if I write like uh, my name is the face so I wrote my name and this is actually a sentence so this will be considered to be a string this will be uh, this will be printed out as it is using uh, when your browser renders out the output on itself so this thing is actually similar to writing this so whatever you uh, put inside those uh, quotation double quotation marks your browser will always print them as they are but there are uh, exceptions to this rule because if you include something like um, if you include like escape sequences then your browser will actually render that differently now we'll be looking at escape sequences shortly but let us focus on what is going on inside this entire if else if and else clause so what we're looking at is 